Yeah, it was pretty early on, Jay, where the Hawkeyes seemed to be overmatched, and that didn't change throughout the four quarters here in Greensboro. Baylor dominating on offense, dominating on defense, and dominating on the glass to the tune of a 32-point win over the Hawkeyes. So pretty easy to see why the Bears were the number one overall seed. They'll move on to Tampa to face Oregon in the Final Four next weekend. As for the Hawkeyes, the players and coaches definitely not wanting this season to end like it did, but boy, what a season it was. I told the team we're not going to define ourselves by this past 40 minutes because there were unbelievable games leading up to this. I mean, so many great memories. I mean, the Big Ten Championship and, you know, getting to the Elite Eight. Um, that's hard to do. It, it's hard to win this time of year. And I'm so proud of this group of women and so happy that they're going to have these memories and relationships for the rest of their lives. It really hasn't hit me yet. Um, I know probably when I take it off or when I get to the hotel or when I get back to Iowa, it, it would definitely hit me that, you know, I won't be able to go to Carver anymore and, and practice with these guys and lift weights and things like that. So, um, I don't know, just thinking about it right now, it gets me emotional. It's just awesome that we were able to get here, honestly, and I, um, you know, don't want to discredit that at all. We're, we're really proud that we got this far, and yeah, it's it's been a great, awesome ride, and it's just kind of honestly surreal that it's over. You know, when I went to the bench at the end, you know, I kind of felt that my time was done. Um, you know, obviously it hasn't quite sunk in yet, but, you know, in the next couple of days it'll definitely sink in more. And, um, you know, it's just I'm just so thankful to be able to to wear an Iowa uniform and um, to compete at this level and to also be a student at this university. I think we have one of the best universities in the world. Megan Gustafson ending her illustrious career in the black and gold. Jay, you mentioned going over the 1,000-point mark for the season. Earlier today, she was also named first team AP All-American. That's the first Hawkeye ever to do so. Not a lot more you can say about her career other than she was simply the best Hawkeye women's player in the history of the program.